Well, good morning on Bank Holiday Monday. It's a weird one, isn't it? Um, weird because, like, because some people obviously do do normal, like, oh, I've got Monday off, whereas I'm like, well, I can have Monday off if I want and work tomorrow, or I could work on a Sunday. And, you know, like life of the self-employed is just like, bank holidays just don't mean anything really, other than um, if I take my stuff to the parcel shop, it won't go until tomorrow anyway. That's it, really. So I do have a bunch of eBay sales. I have 19 going out. And then I've had a decent weekend on Etsy. I've already done four, five Etsy uh, things to go. And then I've got another three uh, that are coming overnight. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's 19 eBay sales since Saturday afternoon, I think it was. And then yesterday, it was a decent day. I've had like... Only one, uh, I say big, it's a £50 sale, and then the rest all just, you know, oh no, and a £45 sale. The rest just like, oh, okay-ish ones, you know. Um, and then obviously the big thing of the weekend, the big excitement, has been the release of my mum's book. I say the release, you know. It's not like you can have, you know, find it in WH Smiths and stuff. Um, but... Mummy's book. Um, so yeah, Saturday was spent like you know, doing the, it's like, do you want to do your interview now, mum? She's like, oh, I don't know. Like, oh, go on, it'll be fine. And then she was really good at it. So, you know, bless her. Um, but she's really chuffed because um, we've worked out how many is sold and stuff. And she's like, um, some are going to people that are also like, trying to write and publish their own books and stuff. Um, and so mum is now currently writing a little like, well, this is what I did to print out and put with the books, which is really sweet, isn't it? Um, yay. So she's well chuffed so far. I've just like sent her the first bit of like money minus postage because obviously I've got to send out all of these weighing 496 grams and then plus post. Yeah, so they'll be going courier rather than Royal Mail, uh, which is what I first thought, but they'll go courier instead. But that's okay, that's okay. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be fun. I've got like book wraps on the way and stuff, so all good. Yay. Um, what else is happening? Might be going to car boot today, not quite sure. Um, I text my sister but she might be on the line or she might be on her way to Malvern I've got no idea or on her way back from Cornwall <sighs> um, I have been a little bit jealous of like seeing what people have been up to bank holiday weekend because even though it's just like a regular weekend I'm like ah, oh, but everyone's like going away they're going to a festival or they're going to a spa and stuff and you know I'm like <laughs> I've just got to remember that in like two and a bit weeks time I'm going to lovely sunny Lyon, where it's now currently like in 30, like high 20s, 30 degrees and stuff. And, you know, I'm going to be popping over hopefully to Geneva for the day and spend the day on Lake Geneva and glorious things like that. And I'm going to be going to the flea markets and looking at jewellery and I'm going to be eating French pastries and, and you know, like Swiss chocolat um, and trying not to get too fat. <laughs> um, but it's all good. So like... It's okay. It's okay. No need to be jealous. I'm going to be having an awesome time in a few weeks. Hmm. But I still want to, yeah, I want to go and do stuff because that's just me. Anyways, I'm going to get together what is going out today, stroke tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I'll show you that in a bit. No, they're not chatting anymore. It's okay. Right, this is what's going out today. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hey, Bouncing Tigger mug, Disney mug, fourteen ninety nine. The sterling silver and faux pearl crescent shaped uh, necklace, ten pounds. This Izaki Paris I S I K I I S A K I Paris necklace, um, fifteen pounds. Quite surprised by that one. Okay. 
I did sell them the Arcapal set of teacups and saucers. These ones, and they're going abroad. <sighs> Where are they going? One second. Let's see if they'll give me the country. KR. It's KR. I'm not sure of that one. KR. It's probably something really obvious, isn't it? And I'm going like, there's no countries like that. I don't know. It's going there anyway. Um, so good luck. I might have to open it up a bit and put some like bubble wrap in places. Um, and then just uber bubble wrap. I mean, it survived so far. I always say, Korea, it must be Korea. Just because I'm looking at the name now, must be Korea. Possibly. Anyway, that's all for 49.99. Um, a vintage, like, hunting jacket thing, belted hunting jacket by Linton, 100% wool. That went for, oh, 54.99. Um, so that was actually my best sale. This gothic cross multi-chain, really heavy. And it's got all, like, crosses and coins and stuff on it. And this gunmetal grey that went for £15. This possibly Russian little pin with an archer on it that went for six pounds fifty these brass patinaed pair of bangles seven pounds this um necklace got a gold tone necklace it's got a scorpion on it like scorpio symbol 9.99 for that sterling silver and glass heart necklace 12.99 some sterling silver ethnic beads from a broken necklace and they're all tested and tested silver. They went for $22.99. The copy of Bean Eggs and Ham went for $9.99. The Skyver mug that I bought for 50p a little while ago, that went for $12.99. This resin encased crazy big bangle that I was like, it could be a, a good Lingard not quite sure um but that went for 12 pounds this mexican bangle just don't like made in mexico it's like a rope twist that's been flattened that went for 9.99 the sparkly three little hearts bracelet went for three pounds this dense calf leather it's like um a little travel case thing for either a watch or cufflinks that kind of thing that went for twelve pounds. A brass ank, twenty six ninety nine, and this Scottish griffin or lion uh, went for twelve pounds. And this Christmas decoration that way up, put it on the top of the tree. That went for fifteen ninety nine. I think I paid. 25p, I think that's what it says on there. Um, but there we go, and then over on Etsy, a little sparkly silver bracelet, sparkly silver, sparkly silver, sterling silver, and turquoise necklace, and then this little um, bracelet with, um, I'm not sure of the stone, I've put ceramic on there, but they might actually be a gemstone, I'm not quite sure. But there we go, so that all sold on Etsy. So yeah, I'm going to have fun packing these up. Still don't know if I'm going to car boot. Who can say? Post done, apart from one, we're off to the car boot. Sky's looking a little bit grey, but it's okay. It's gonna hold out, isn't it, Mother? We'll be fine. Hi, Gary. You're right. <laughs> Bag ready. 
Beauty, beauty. Right, may the force be with you. May the uh, thing be ever in your favour. Good luck. <laughs> There's a queue. I've never known a queue here before. This is bizarre. They're going to be fighting. All the gold, all the Lego, all the computer games. They'll be running in in a minute. Hilarious. And we're off. Some of them are very keen. They have to give a warning about no pushing, no shoving. That's awful, isn't it? We're far more civilised than that, aren't we, Kate? He's going over that way, apparently. Do -do -do. Plus mum and my sister already, which is about standard. minded at the carpet sale or anything actually which I probably shouldn't be but I just don't want to. Yeah, my sister's not being here. Yeah, 
bought a couple of bits so far. Oh, look at all them. That's someone's doing my nightmare. Oh no, thank you very much. No, no, no. Not for me. There's that doglet again. Hello, doglet. <laughs> so many doglets. Oh, feisty little doglet. Apparently my sister has already done two thirds and I've only done half. So I better catch her up. That's such a cute little chair. Oh, don't need it. Again, nightmare. Mm. Although I have done well off of a whole bunch of things before, but I'm not looking to do that again. Oh, look at them. They are so cute. Thank you. Wow, look at the hedgehog. Oh, they're adorable. Love them. Do you sell them online? What's your site? Uh, Is it on? Just go on Marketplace. And um, if you go on Marketplace and put in hand crocheted, um, handmade crocheted sheep, okay. you see me. <laughs> Fab. So I'm doing a little vlog today of this. So like, we'll show you your cool bits off in the video. Love them. They're so <laughs> Poundy. This one feels like plastic, but you know what that could mean. Worth it. Worth a pound. I'm not sure if there's anything else. No, you didn't pull a plane out. The glass. Yes, I want to take him. Oh, you gorgeous. Oh. So there's good sniffings here. Oh. <laughs> That's the good stuff. That's probably fox poo, isn't it, or something? Yeah, oh, beautiful though. Oh, I want that one. Yeah, I like them. They're nice. That's a pretty. That's a shame. Yeah, shame is missing a stone there. Yeah, Got it. Yeah. Like the oh, that's pretty. Is it three pounds for them? Yes. Just spent two pounds on this. I don't know what it is. Right, we're done. I'm having a diet coke, and these two are having bloody ice creams. Back from the car boot and I am hungry because I only had two slices of low carb uh, toast this morning. So I'm heating myself up the leftover Indian from last night, the lush. And there we go. So I've got the rest of the sag bhaji, the rest of the meat. Um, this was the onions that came with the meat. And I've added the tomatoes and the spring onions and the chilies that we um, had yesterday. Mix them in and put some paneer cheese in. That's the cauliflower rice with some lime pickle on the top. And that is going to be absolutely beast. That was yummy. Mm -mm. Right, super quick haul from the car boot sale. I'm not going to show you the jewellery, but I spent £15 on jewellery. I've got 11 bits, including uh, four bits of silver, one of which is um, from a local legend in Bridgend, a new any, so chuffed with that. But I will explain more at some point in a Sparkly Things video, so you'll have to wait a few weeks, maybe a couple of weeks, until I have enough jewellery to make one. Anyways, so the other thing I got was two pounds on this, which is a vintage puzzle. Um, Adam's apple, it's called on eBay, I think, but some people have also called it like Newton's apple or Isaac Newton's apple. But yeah, it's a puzzle that comes apart in 48 bits, apparently. There we go. Uh, someone's got one new uh, listed with a box for like 20 something pound, but I'll do like, I don't know, 12 or something on that. I don't expect loads, but I just thought it was kind of interesting. I don't want to take it apart either. Sod that, because then I'll have to put it back together 
Oh no, thank you very much. Yeah, so tonight I am going to the cinema. Uh, we're going to see Cobweb, which looks like a bit of a scary one. So I will be taking some keto-friendly snacks with me, probably some Cheezos. Um, yeah, I should imagine. And a nice big drink. Yeah. So that is it. I hope you've enjoyed today. I've enjoyed my food and I've enjoyed um, going on car boot sale. And I've enjoyed doing all of my packages now as well because I just did the Arcopal set. Um, put layers of like bubble wrap stuff and then bubble wrap the heck out of it and then had the perfect size box. Oh, it was beautiful. Anyways, yeah, so all my packaging is done. Um, because it's bank holiday Monday, obviously just waiting for the money to go into account, so probably will happen tomorrow. But um I'll be having quite a nice payday tomorrow, which is good because I have also got to book my train tickets to get to Gatwick and things like that out of it. But that's cool. Yay. Anyways, I shall probably see you tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Might go somewhere, might not. Who knows? I'll see what I fancy. Anyways, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.